Dave's Adam Hills. Welcome to the Americana special of Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show born on the bayou in Sweet Home, Alabama, now living on a prayer in blue Hawaii. <laughs> Our two team captains each and every week are the Chattanooga Choo Choo, Alan Bro, and the Orange Blossom special, Miff Warhurst. <laughs> Beth Snow was born in Australia but made her name in the US as a country singer where she opened for Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr, toured with Glenn Campbell and appeared with Johnny Cash. She's also a master herbalist, which would have been handy if she'd ever played with Bob Marley. Please welcome <laughs> Diana Trash. <laughs> Our second team member is a comedian who's as American as Apple Strudel. She was born on the 7th of July, hates hot dogs, and her Uncle Sam is actually just a friend of the family and not a real uncle. Please welcome back Denise Scott. <laughs> Miss First Guest is one of the great jazz and blues voices of her generation, whose career has spanned several changes in lingo. She's gone from being cute to hip to groovy to cool to smoking to bad, and now she's the bomb. OMGG, please welcome Barbara Morrison. <laughs> This final guest tonight is an Australian comedian who grew up in the United States and dreamt of being Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> Unfortunately, his hopes were dashed when the job went to a young man named Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> Please welcome Tommy Dean. <laughs> now, first thing we're going to do tonight is I'm going to take off the sunglasses because that would be inappropriate for the entire show. Hi. 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 Down this way, Alan Bro. Yeah. I'm assuming you're either Peter Lawford from the Rat Pack mm. or Tony Barber at a formal event. Wrong on both counts. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Peter Lawford. Yep. yep. He'd be very British. Oh, yes, he was British. He was very British. And now you're dressed as Patsy Cline for yeah, the night. Yeah, Patsy Cline. It's kind of strange because I did her song, I Fold to Pieces. She had just passed away and I didn't understand that there was the love that, she, you know, that they had for her. And I was the Australian person that had come to Nashville, so they thought, let her do it. If she gets shot, no one will care. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I did her song, and luckily enough, it was nominated for a Grammy in 1969. That's amazing. If you were still alive. You weren't born. Oh, God. I was there. Oh, I was there to sing along with Mitch. Were you? I was there. I sang along with Mitch and you. And me, if I knew I was going to be this old, I'd have taken better care of my body. <laughs> so would have I. Oh. Uh, and Denise Scott, uh, yes. you've come with the whole Liza Minnelli cabaret feel tonight? No. Anyone? Just as I normally am. <laughs> <laughs> so I have. And it's interesting because I know nothing about Americana, America or music. So I'm going to be a great asset to you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but I know she used to do the dance. That's Liza, isn't Woo. it? Or it's backwards. That's what... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. She was drinking. <laughs> she <been> drinking. <laughs> Do you feel the need to break into song at any point? Oh, um, gonna do what good is York. sitting? Oh, oh what yes. do you want me to sing? I'll sing New along York. with you, Diana. New sing York. along with Mitch. OK, okay. go. If um, you can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you. New York, New York. <laughs> Yeah. It's not often you get to dress up as your own Twitter avatar. Exactly. <laughs> I love Dolly. Yep. And today I got to be Dolly. And look at these fingernails. Oh. There, is, there is nothing I can do today. I can't even press a buzzer properly. Can you stand up and give us a oh, look yeah. at the whole outfit? I'm also wearing a corset too, so... OK. Oh, hello. Okay, hello. Yes. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm not sure, baby. I think I just saw the islands in the stream. <laughs> I, um, I just wanted to say, too, Gary from the crew just informed me that Dolly Parton actually performed in here in 1983 on Countdown. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was before the... Oh. Yeah. Early on, she had a balcony, but then she went, a super balcony. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got this new operation where they put the pumps, and then when you do like this, you can let them Oh, up. cool. <laughs> <laughs> the reason to do the chicken dance. <laughs> Barbara, uh, as Diana Ross... Hey, what can I say? I, I gotta get used to putting my teeth out there like Diana did. Oh, is that the thing? Of course, I could take them out. And put them <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> that might work. <laughs> uh, Tommy, excellent work coming dressed as Slash from Guns N' Roses. Well, um, I'm glad you told me, actually, who it was, because, truthfully, the entire time in makeup, I thought I was Cher. <laughs> You look like Bob Marley on a bad day. Yeah, being dead for a long time. <laughs> now that's heartening coming from Eddie Munster. <laughs> Tonight, there is only one topic, and of course that topic is Americana. There will be five questions on the topic of Americana, but before we get into them, can everyone check their buzzers, please? Uh, Diana? Oh. Charge! <laughs> Everyone on your buzzers? Let's play Spicks and Specs. First question for one point. Written by a British doctor as a way of mocking American soldiers, which now patriotic song features feathers, ponies and macaroni? What is Yankee Doodle? Uh, yes, Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle. Doodle. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who was a dandy? Uh, I don't have anyone else. You answered that question as if we were on Jeopardy then. <laughs> if you actually answered it with a question. I what sure is Yankee did. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> um, Next question. For two points, what are the names of these two places in New York associated with songwriting and publishing? One's the Brill Building. Yes, it is. Oh, no. And the other one will be... Tin what is Pan Alley? Tin Pan Alley. Oh, That's right. the one we were looking yeah. for. Oh. Two points. Yeah. Third question for three points. Who founded Sun Records and, according to him, who were his greatest two discoveries? <laughs> Yes. Well, it'd have to be Elvis, wouldn't it? Elvis was one of those discoveries, yep. No. Why Elvis? No, I'm going to say oh, on this side. Uh, it was Sam Phillips. Sam, Sam yeah. Phillips founded yeah. Sun Records, yes. And, and his other... Great discovery. John Cash or Johnny Horton? One. No. Um, Howling Wolf? Howling Wolf was the one I was oh, looking for. No. Yes, oh, well that's all right. <laughs> Your fourth question. Here are eight bands. The Dave Brubeck Quartet, The Atlantics, The Birds, The Mummers and the Puppers, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nickelback, Veruca Salt and Black Eyed Peas. For four points, which of those four were formed in California? Yes. The Mamas and the Papas? Yes. Uh, no. Oh, OK. Actually not, so I'm going to give you three more guesses. The Birds? The Birds were formed in California, yes. Um, I'm Denise. feeling good about Dave Brubeck. Uh, yes, Dave hey! Brubeck. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. Um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yes. And that's so your three guesses? That's your three oh, guesses, awesome. so there's one more that I'm looking for. Black Eyed Peas? Uh, Black Eyed Peas is exactly oh, the answer I was right. looking for. There yeah. it is. Three points there, one point there. Finally, listen to these five songs and for five points, tell me the American places the artists are named after. If you leave me now, what is Chicago? They're looking for a kiss. I don't want another. You fill up my senses. One you said was Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, that was good because I wrote that down. Then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Texas was in there. Texas was in there. Yep. So the fourth one is John Denver. Den yeah. Yes, it is Denver. And uh, what about uh, St. Louis? Uh, no. I might throw it over to this thing because I reckon you guys have had a... Is one of them America? <laughs> no, none of them are America. <laughs> no, what America. Were the odds? You got Chicago, if you leave me now. Texas, I don't want to love her. John Denver. Denver? Named after Denver. New York Dolls was the second oh, song, Looking for a Kiss, and Manhattan Transfer. Oh. Was the last one the the but Miss Team still got three points out of that one. Wow. Look, we haven't really talked about the amazing people that both Diana and Barbara have worked with. Didn't you use Ray Charles as an excuse to meet Nina Simone? Is that true? I did, I did. I was on stage, uh, opened the show for uh, RC, we called it. And I looked out in the audience, there had to be 20,000 people out there, and I saw this one person. I saw her features, and it was Nina Simone. So when I got through singing, I went over to her and I said, Miss Simone, uh, Mr. Charles would like to see you backstage. And she right. fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I knocked on his dressing room when he was done. I said, Mr. Charles, Nina Simone's out here looking for you. <laughs> so, that way I got a chance to talk to both of them and I had a good time. That's amazing. Not... <laughs> to be fair, though, with Ray Charles, couldn't you do that all the time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now over this side, Diana. Yeah. Again, the amount of people that you've worked with, Bob Hope. Yeah. George mm -hmm. Burns. Yes. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Yes, sir. What were you doing with Frank Sinatra? I was the Australian content, you know, in the shows. They yes. had all the Americans coming over. And then when I moved into country music, I worked with Hank Jr. for a number of years and uh, did the Vegas scene with um, Roy Clark and... I was watching an amazing clip of you during the week, yeah, with you yeah. and Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah. That looked like there was some chemistry there between yeah, you and Johnny. Yeah, he was a cool guy. Oh. <laughs> and, and he, he had an animal magnetism. He did. Mm. It was just, oh, 
when you looked in his eyes, you went, ah, oh. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> I remember one time we did a concert together and they sent my husband to go and get John and June. They were in a motel room and they were trashed. They'd been trashed for three days. But they put him under the shower, they got him on stage, and I remember standing at the edge of the stage and just watching that man work, even under, in that condition, when at his lowest, he was absolutely fantastic. How did he manage to go from being that... Oh, oh well, um, he took a cure and uh, he and June threw everything down the toilet and flushed it. And he was crying. No, no. He took and a cure. He took a cure. What mm -hmm. does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, he took program. Uh, right. Oh, he, went no. for the, he had, you know, a lot of withdrawal and a lot of problems, but uh, he made it. And uh, he's a huge man in, in country music story. history. Who doesn't love John Cash? Totally. Go, seriously, go and look at the video. It's amazing. But you two women have got the magnetism. I couldn't get closer if I tried it. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to go on a program as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can put you on a program, a health program. Oh, I'd love that. Yes. Oh, because you're an, 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 are you a naturopath my, now? Or no, did I'm you a, call I'm it a master her herbalist? A master herbalist. Yeah, I went back to school and I got my degree. I couldn't believe it. My brain was still why? working after all these years. I'm sorry, but why would you go from working with Johnny Cash and that to herbs? It's <laughs> <laughs> not much of a jump, really, is it? <laughs> Helen Reddy, also a herbalist. No, she's a she's a hypnotist. She actually hypnotizes yeah, she people. She hypnotizes people, takes them back, and helps them over their humps. Oh, I thought she like making helps them act like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and Olivia Newton John's also into. Olivia's into research for help for, for cancer. It's amazing that the three of us have all gravitated to the health side of it. It's like you know, had the career, done the whole thing, and suddenly realize um, that health and family and happiness and peace are the most important things. Yeah. I want to see someone like John Farnham become a doctor or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> writing <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, at the end of the first round, the scores are Alan, Diana, Denise are on six points, Miff, Barbara, Tommy in front, seven points. Well done. and identify the tunes being performed live in the studio. Tonight, your songs are being played by a Dixieland band by the name of Dave Hetherington's Jazzbos. <laughs> Song one, please. More than a feeling by Boston. It's more than a feeling oh, wow. by Boston. Yes, yeah. well done, Alan. Bro. Uh, next song, please. Yes, Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Oh, well done. Why are you looking so amazed? No, no, no. I was, I was impressed that you got the song, but I was also impressed that you knew Lady Gaga's Poker Face. Poker Face. <laughs> that was nice because you, you look and sound like Lady Gaga's mum. <laughs> uh, all right, next song, please. Anything goes. Well, Anything goes. Well, there well, it is, well, Denise well, Scott. Wow, you're You got from Anything Goes to Everything Goes. It is Cole Porter. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next song, please. Yeah. 
Are you the last? I, th I thought it was all of me. No, it's definitely not all of me. Um... Denise? <laughs> I just need another, what do you bar. call them? Cord. A bar. A bar. A bar. A bar. Thank you. She needs a bar. <laughs> I need a bar, all right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Well, you actually got herbals. That was great. You got a rim shot there at the end of it. <laughs> this is almost the perfect show. Out. You're answering everything, and we've got a guy there doing things. <laughs> He's good, that guy. He is really good. He's really guy. good. He lives at my house. <laughs> It would work for everyone if the Reserve Bank said that interest rates are going up 2%. <laughs> you'd be OK with it. It's just brilliant. My husband's got one on, you know, that on his iPhone, so I'll be sitting there talking and he'll go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the dinner table. Is he still alive? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, can you take it from the beginning of that song again, please? was the best version I've ever heard of Van Halen's jump oh! in my life. Oh! So, final song, please. Greatest American Hero, was it? It's Who Believe It or Not, the theme to The Greatest oh, American Hero. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Dave Henrington's Jazz Band. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of that round, the scores are Miss Barbara Tommy, eight points. Alan, Diana, Denise, nine points. Okay, so I have now come down to the board and realised quite how much this suit shows off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not it's... sure whether I can see your hound dog or your hunker hunker burning <laughs> light. <laughs> the weird thing is, because there are chains, I can see why Elvis had the chains here. Because whenever you walk, it kind of tickles. <laughs> it's quite lovely. Bonus. <laughs> Sorry? Bonus. Oh, I misheard you. <laughs> Where's the guy with the drum kit when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, listen, I'm going to ask you to pick a number. I'm going to read you a fact and you tell me if it's true or false. Uh, Miff, I'm going to let you have first pick. Uh, we'll pick number two. Number two. Here we go. Number two is from Louisiana. It's from Morgan City, Louisiana. Charles Frogmouth Gillette in 1927 manufactured the first known solid body electric guitar by bolting an acoustic guitar neck to an old wooden toilet seat cover. True or false? That's pretty awesome. It's like every man's fantasy, isn't it? A toilet and a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would explain why there's a man called Slash sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think? I think it's true. I'm going to go with true. All right, we'll go with true. That is completely false. Oh! Um, Alan, your team can pick the next number. You live in Georgia? Yeah. OK, ah, it's uh, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Oh, Macon. It was here that the kazoo was invented by Alabama Vest in the 1840s. Yeah. That's right. True? Yeah, it's true. It's completely true. Oh! <laughs> Nick, or at least your team. We are going to choose number 10 because um, that's where Barbara's from. From Michigan. In fact, it's from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Do you know that place? Ypsilanti. That's where I was born. <gasps> I hope I can get it right. <laughs> Come on, Barbara. The fact is this. 
Ypsilanti is the home of Jim Morrison Stadium, a football ground named after the town's most famous son. True or false? False. Uh, correct, it's completely false. Yeah. We made oh. that. Well I do like the idea, though, of a football stadium named after Jim Morrison from the doors. <laughs> he could be my brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, uh, Alan, your team. Oh, shall we have number three? It's in New Mexico. Yes, oh, okay. I'd love to go to New Mexico. Let's have number three for New Mexico. Let's go to you certainly, Alan mate. Kirky. Rio Rancho, New Mexico. In 1996, Pink is discovered by producer Mitch Fuller while singing Cindy Lauper covers at Rio Rancho's annual Bacon and Pig Fair. No. <laughs> Ooh, bacon and Pig no. Fair. No, yeah. no Bacon and Pigs in New Hampshire. New, I mean, New, New, Mexico. New Mexico. And she's a desert. Oh, it's desert. I think they eat more pigs Pinks. in America than anywhere else in the world. There's a lot of. I think they. I think it's true. Denise seems sure it's true. Completely false. Oh! Oh, I should have oh, yeah. listened to Diana Trust. Uh, Myth. Can we pick um, number eleven? Uh, you certainly may. Number 11, uh, at the White House during a May 10th, 1970 gig organised by President Nixon's daughter, Tricia Nixon, the turtle singer Mark Volman got so drunk he fell off stage six times. It's got to be true. What do you reckon? Yeah. I, I think it's I true. I think I'll hang with you. Yeah. Uh, completely true. Yay. Oh, nice. Well done, that's fair. Alan, it's your turn. Um, we'll have number 12, Tennessee, please. Uh, oh, yeah, Tennessee. During his 41st birthday celebrations at his home in Collierville, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis accidentally shot his bass player, Butch Owens, twice in the chest with a 35 Magnum. I know his bass player. <laughs> and how's his chest? And it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Big not holes good. in it? I think so. Mm. Uh, oh. Yes, that's completely yes. correct. Yes. Hey! 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 So the true story is, uh, Butch Owen survived. Jerry Lee Lewis claimed it was an accident and he thought the gun was unloaded. Yes, that'd be right. Twice. Twice. That'd be right. Yeah. yeah, so he shot him once and then went, ah, oh, I thought the gun was unloaded. It's probably unloaded now. And then shot him again. Yeah. Oh, Thus making him the Dick Cheney of music. <laughs> Uh, Miff, one more from you, please. Oh, one more. OK, um, five. You fucking five? <laughs> Number five, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. After a gig at a baseball park in May 1955, Elvis Presley caused a full-blown riot by telling the audience of 14,000 girls, quote, I'll see you backstage. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going to go with you. I what never you heard think? that story before. OK. Yeah, just looking at the Elvis we've got now, I'm going false. We say false. Are you saying if I said to 14,000 girls, <laughs> I'll see you backstage, there wouldn't be a riot? Uh... True. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the whole story is false? Yes. Turns out the whole story is true. <gasps> no! That was when Colonel Tom Parker realised how popular Elvis was when he told 14,000 people, mainly girls, I'll see you backstage, and there was a riot. Wow. Oh, yeah. Take that, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Six, please. Six. Uh, Okie dokie. <laughs> there it is. Lincoln is home to the first and longest running naturists music festival, Nude Stock, which is celebrating its 20th year in 2011. Oh, well, they're crazy up there. Nude they, Stock. In Nebraska? Yep. Oh, they're all nuts. I'd say yes. Okay, yeah, they're all nuts, and we see they're nuts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, completely oh. false. Oh! There is a nude stock in America, which bizarrely we found out is in the same town in which they filmed the TV show Twin Peaks. <laughs> <laughs> you actually all made your own punchline. Then. <laughs> uh, at the end of that round, the scores are Miff Barbara Tommy on 10 points, Alan, oh, Diane, oh, and Denise yes. still in front, 11 points. <laughs> Each team will be singing online songs using the words of an unrelated piece of text. Your teammates have to identify those songs. Uh, Diana, yes, you'll be singing first for Alan and Denise. Oh my goodness! And you'll be taking your lyrics from 1981's *The Pritikin Permanent Weight Loss Manual*. Oh my God, I know it well. Uh, that's oh. your book. Those are your songs, ladies and gentlemen. Diana Trash. Yay! Yay! Yeah. yeah. Overweight is a problem that affects one out of two. Adults in our country is very much related to the problem of degenerative diseases. Wichita Lineman. Yes, yes Wichita Lineman. Okay. Okay. 
In the days before lawnmowers and automobiles, vacuum cleaners and elevators, physical activity was a, oh, a, a, a normal part of human existence. Uh, yes, Alan. It's uh, Billie Jean. Yes. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Yes. Two out of two. <laughs> Uh, final song, please. Tapioca, cream parfait. Prepare tapioca pudding as described and chill. Oh, 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 yeah. Grind, grape. Nuts in a blender, <laughs> mix <laughs> okay. in juice and cinnamon to a symbol. Parfait's layer pudding, banana, and cross. No, so close. I'm sorry. Yes, it's I'm Sorry by Brenda Lee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. You'll be singing for Miff and Tommy, and you'll be taking your lyrics from Kojak Gun Business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's your book, there's your songs, ladies and gentlemen. Barbara Morrison. Yes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Song one, please. Ask any cop. Any detective that I am, he'll tell you one of the biggest problems is an unsolved crime. Is the cop's own assumption? What is it right from the start? Right from the first step you take. And at the scene of crime, you start building up pictures in your head. You go and feel those little electric. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You make me feel like a natural yeah. woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next song, please. What is it in my personality or my character that makes it so that my first free night in a month I end up with whoa, whoa, whoa. a gorgeous hunk of man who has gone down for me whoa, whoa. and left the handy dental hygienist what do I <laughs> what could I yes, baby Miff. love baby love oh. by the screen <laughs> Final song, please. Okay. Uh, full cop is a happy cop. Bobby says a full cop is a sleepy cop. I answer doors, look over at us. The way you never told me that mm -mm, against her making me, I sit down on the couch next to her <laughs> during a commercial for some <laughs> product. I can really <laughs> think. Yeah. Let's, stay, let's stay together. Let's stay together. Our great. When you're singing a song that everybody knows out of a book that's completely unrelated to it, there's no way you can hide whether or not you've got an average voice. And if you've got an amazing <laughs> voice that shines through, and those were two of the most amazing voices oh, we've had during yeah. summer. <laughs> <laughs> Room, the 
these two are bursting into song all the time. Yeah. With their glasses. Got the world on a string, string sitting on a rainbow. No, you've got to put your glasses on. That's what I want. <laughs> it's ladies without glasses. Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Sitting on a rainbow. Got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life. I'm in love. And the name of your band is The Librarian. <laughs> <laughs> The end of that round, the scores are Alan, Diana, Denise are on 13 points. Miff, Barbara, Tommy have hit the lead, 14 points. Oh. Oh. Team, hands on your buzzers. One point for the correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. Your questions start now. Featured in the soundtrack to American Graffiti was the Beach Boys song Surf and What? USA. No, Surf and Safari. Oh. The collaboration between Jay-Z and Alicia Keys, Empire State of Mind... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, that was going to be the answer. I was going to give Empire State of Mind. New York. Uh, it's about which US city? New York. Oh, well, nicely done. <laughs> An instrumental version of which American national song was famously played at Woodstock? Yes. Um, the Star Spangled Banger by Jimi Hendrix. Star Spangled Banger? Banger. Did you say Star Spangled okay. Banger? Yes, it was the Star Spangled Banger. <laughs> A song about our national sausage. <laughs> <laughs> A 2004 top ten hit for Green Day was American What? Idiot. Yes. Have a listen to this. Name the song. Oh. Um, Who's Clementine? Sorry? Where's Oh My Darling Clementine? Oh My Darling Clementine oh, by Pete Seeger, yes. The meatloaf song Paradise by the Dashboard Light includes commentary from which bat and ball sport? Baseball. Yes. The big Joe Turner song from the 50s is Flip, Flop and What? It was Fly. Sorry? Flip, Flop and Fly. Yes, Flip, Flop and Fly. <laughs> Bert Backrack and Hal David wanted to know the way to which coastal... San Jose. San Jose, San Jose. San Jose. yep. Jose. The Presidents of the United States of America sang about an abundance of which fruit? Peaches. Yes. <laughs> and your final question. Spell the title of the 1985 John Cougar Mellencamp hit R-O-C-K in the USA. R-O-C-K in the USA. Yes, that's pretty much it. Well done. <laughs> At the end of the show, the final scores were... Alan, Diana, Denise ended up on 16 points. Miff, Barbara, Tommy won the day, though. 19 points. <laughs> guests for tonight's show, Diana Trask, Denise Scott, Barbara Morrison and Tommy Dean. <laughs> and of course our two team captains, Alan Bro and Miff Warhurst. <laughs> we leave you tonight with a return performance from Dave Hetherington's Jazz Bows as they play the American classic Route 66. Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Thank you very much, Australia. <laughs> City looks mighty pretty to see. I'm a little Gallup, New Mexico, Blackstaff, Arizona. Don't forget Monona, Kingman, Bosco, San Bernardino. If you get hip for my kindly tip, when you make your California trip, just get your kicks. Six. Yeah.